this video, we're going to be discussing gold, how it is traded, what affects its price movements, and tips for trading it. As forex traders seek out investments that hedge against inflation, market instability, and other geopolitical factors, gold has become much more popular in recent years. Traders use gold as a safe haven that is resistant to major market swings and is more consistent over time than other major currencies. Gold investing and gold trading are two different ways to trade the precious metal. With investing, you actually buy and take ownership of the underlying asset and you profit if the price moves up. With gold trading, you don't actually own the underlying asset itself, but you can profit from both the rising or falling of the gold price. Investors tend to rely heavily on gold in times of economic or political turmoil, and it is used as a hedge against inflation of the various currencies. Following the COVID-19 pandemic, for example, many investors moved their money into gold to safeguard against losses from current inflation. Gold stability is owed largely to its relatively stable volume, which cannot be increased like governments can print money. Things that impact the price of gold include trading activity, economic inflation, and supply and demand. Additionally, when excess gold is mined and it outpaces the demand for the precious metal, prices tend to decrease. Investors buying and selling gold can also cause fluctuations in the price of gold. And this brings us to how do you trade gold? If you are looking to make better use of gold and capitalize on its potential profits, here are some trading tips to keep in mind. Number one is trade the New York session. Like many other currencies, gold is a 24 hour market, but peak liquidity usually occurs during the New York open times. And this is between 9.30 and 4 p.m. Eastern time. Whether you should target trades during or after the New York hours depends on your goals. Trades during peak activity offer high liquidity and low volatility, which makes them good targets for safe haven positions. But off hours trading can provide the extra volatility needed to execute scalping strategies. At the same time, of course, this extra volatility increases the relative risk of any trade. Make sure you use correct risk management strategies. Number two, you want to simplify your analysis by targeting previous lows or highs. Because gold tends to trade in a range, one of the easiest strategies for trading is looking at the previous highs and previous lows. Traders can open a position on gold when it's trending up, for example, and target a previous high as their sell price or vice versa. Because gold is a relatively stable asset, it makes it likely that it'll reach previous highs or lows over time. However, this isn't a good trading strategy for day traders because it can take time for these targets to be hit. Range-bound trading strategies typically don't offer quick profit opportunities like momentum strategies do. Still, it's a relatively low-risk trading strategy designed to generate some profit from reliable gold USD price movements. Number three, when trading gold, consider the geopolitical impacts on various currencies. When political or economic instability creates concerns around currency prices, gold is often seen as a safe haven, which means that investors invest more money into the asset. Now, gold typically moves against the US dollar and is treated as a hedge against inflation. So any downside for the US currency stemming from weak data could translate to upside for the precious metal. Central banks tend to buy gold when they are predicting volatility in certain currencies. Recently, for example, China and Russia made headlines for making significant investments in gold because of their concern about the future price of the US dollar and the euro, among other major global currencies. When central banks start buying gold, it is a sign of two things for forex traders. Either they believe that the volatility will cause a dip in currency prices, and it also means that the gold price will increase. And so this is an opportunity for forex traders to make a quick profit on the increase of the gold price. Number five, track real interest rates. It is well documented that gold has a correlation with interest rates. As the interest rate rises, so the price of gold decreases. And as the interest rate decreases, so the price of gold increases. Historically, gold prices tend to rise when the real interest rate dips below 1%. By watching these interest rates over time, you can identify strong buying opportunities, especially if you're looking for long-term trading opportunities. In contrast, a real interest rate above 2% likely devaluates the price of gold, 
Many experts recommend selling gold USD if the real interest rate reaches this threshold. Lastly, you want to target moving average crossovers. Because gold prices move within a range, moving averages tend to cross over on the Forex charts, and these can signal good buying and selling opportunities. For example, if the 10-day moving average were to cross the price point for the 60-day moving average, it would signal a buying opportunity for long-term traders. The opposite is also true. If a short-term moving average were to dip below a longer-term moving average, traders would use the strategy to sell in anticipation of continued losses. Overall, Forex traders should see gold as a safe haven investment and should create trading strategies to profit from its potential price movements. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please send them through to podcast at ethicscouts.com.